Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I've been getting a lot of viewer requests to take a tour of my sewing room. They also want me to give tips on how to organize a sewing room. Well, I don't really feel that I'm in a good place to do that because we are in the middle of packing. We're actually moving to a bigger house. This will be the fourth move we've made in 10 years, and I don't want to move again. What's happened is we retired, we bought a very small home out of state, we kept our other home, we kept a little condo in the other state that we lived in, and we would go back and forth visiting family and come back here. Well, I had sewing items in that condo and sewing items here. But it just wasn't working out. It was kind of expensive to maintain two places. So we sold both houses and bought a bigger house here where we are now. We live out in the middle of the desert. For a while there, just the stuff from one house was in here. And it was great. It was spacious. My sewing room was so organized. I loved it. But then when we sold our condo, everything came here and that's when the nightmare started. So I'm going to take you in the main room where I sew. Then I'm going to take you on a tour of my house so you can see how I have my things organized. A lot of it is packed up because we are moving. So let's kind of take a look-see in here first. All right? Okay, so this is my sewing room. Over here, I, my embroidery machine that was sitting here is all packed up. And this is my baby lock crescendo. And then there's storage up here. And over here, there's thread. And there's another thread rack there. Then I have more stuff over here, different paper products I use, pens, pencils, writing paper, glue, everything is there. And then over here is my main sewing table. And I get a lot of requests on where did I get this. The place I bought it from no longer exists. And I paid about $1,400 for it five years ago. I have seen it on other websites and it's now $4,000. So it is a great table. It's got a little hydraulic lift in it so you can lower your sewing machine if you want to. There's also a little extended tabletop back there. So if you make large quilts, you just lift that back piece up and you have all kinds of room to sew. I love this table. And by the way, it was the only table I could find where the drawers were on the left hand side. I'm left-handed, so I'm just thrilled about that. Then over here is more fabric. It's been packed and moved already. And then we just finished filming a video of this right here. This is my ironing board. I cover it up when I need to, when I want to hide and make things look pretty. This is taped up on the wall. Isn't that classy? But that's how we do it around here. Then over here, I have a couple of monitors. This is actually a regular TV. This is a monitor that I'm using if I'm filming by myself so I can see exactly where we're going. This is one of those fold-up craft tables that you can buy at Joann's. I get a lot of requests, where do you get these fold-up tables? Joann Fabrics and Crafts sells them. This is a table that I love. This is a beautiful table. It has rollers on it and lots of storage. It was very expensive. It was about $900. My cutting mat that's here, you can get them at Joann's and it is 33 inches by 56 inches. And that's about as large as I have found. You can probably get them bigger. When you look at this wall here, this is what you usually see in most of my videos. Again, we're already starting to pack all of this. What we're going to do now, we're going to go down into another room. It used to be our guest room. Not so much anymore because there's so much stuff on the bed, they, nobody can sleep on it. So let's kind of go down there. We're now in our second bedroom. As I said before, it was a guest bedroom. We're in the sh shower area. And in this shower are all of the cases 
travel cases for all of my sewing machines. And there's even baby stuff in here too. So it's full, it can't be used in the state that it is. It's actually a very nice little bathroom. It looks nice, but I usually keep this closed so I won't scare people too much. And let's turn around and look at the bedroom itself. Here we go. This is the bed. Now the bed actually looks good now. It was completely covered. And there's a lot of stuff on the floor over here, but you really don't need to look at that. But this is all my fleece fabric, my novelty fabric. This is my desk. I have no room to write because my computer takes up the whole thing. And now I'm gonna open the doors and I'm gonna kick this stuff out of the way. I do a lot of kicking around here, okay? Much to my husband's dismay. And my husband and daughter were nice enough to pack up all of this for me. And it was just full in here. I had all of my Christmas fabric and my fall fabric was stored in here. Now in our new house, we're gonna have a neat place to store all this stuff. And so I'll show you that in a little bit. Now let's go to our master bedroom and see all the goodies that's in there. We're now at the entryway into my bedroom, or our bedroom, I should say, although it feels like my bedroom because almost everything in here is sewing stuff. So here's more sewing things that have been boxed up. And these used to be in our master bedroom closet, and we'll be going in there in just a moment. So we're gonna move on in this way, and on the way to the master bedroom closet, you can see all of those tubs over there are full of stuff that I have made. Next to it is a sewing table with my serger on it, and that'll be packed up really, really soon. And when you look down to the floor, it's kind of a baby playing area also. Okay, let's start hidden into the bathroom. All right, so right here, I wanna show you this. This is where we change little Parker. This was a perfect little spot. We have a very large bathroom. One of the reasons we moved and picked this house was because the uh, master bedroom closet is huge and there was so much room to store. So let's go in there. I'm gonna move on over in here and let's kind of look in this corner right here. All of this is sewing stuff and then down there. Okay, all of this stuff. These are all towels stuffed in there and then pillows, tablecloths, baby blankets and so forth. Now let's come up over here and just kind of pan up. And now just pan across. This is all stuff that has been made by the Sewing Room channel. A lot of it is props that we use in videos. Not everything is a project I made. And then let Jamie come around over here. This is my wardrobe that you see me wear. These are my shirts. I try to look nice in the videos. The shots that you don't see me in, I'm usually dressed in t-shirts and sweats. Over here are our t-shirts that we wear for special occasions right here. And these are a few of the projects that I have made. Some clothing, kimono, dress, circle top, and so forth. This is my husband's office. And this is when the blank hit the fan. My husband says, we have to move because my sewing things were creeping in here. Now, I didn't put them in here, but he moved things in here because there was no other place to move it. So this used to be his little sanctuary. It's now a place for the dog and our little grandson, Parker. So it's a little bit of everything in here now. It's not just his quiet little office. He's now the official babysitter. <laughs> right now, I'm in the doorway of going into a bathroom that's just right next to the sewing room. It's another little guest powder room area. But let's go in because there's a shower in there full of goodies. So let's just go on in. Jamie here is going to go into the shower. 
you'll see a couple of my dress mannequins, decorator fabric, children's fabric, flannel, towels, fat quarters, outdoor fabric, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm not quite sure is back there. So you can see I'm a little crowded in this big house. As you can see, I'm in no position to tell someone how to organize their sewing room. But I will have to tell you, before we merged two homes into one, I loved my home. It was neat and tidy. Everything had its place. It looked organized. I was not embarrassed to have anybody come in my home. Now it's like I don't want to invite anybody in because it just got so bad. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down the street in the neighborhood where we live. We bought the same house again, same identical floor plan, except the sewing room that I'm in right now is now three and a half times bigger plus a large storage room. So we're going to go take a look at the empty room so you can see what we're going to be moving into. So the moving date, we'll have another video on the day that we move so you can see all of it being placed. Okay, let's go down the street. Well, I'm inside of it and as you can see, it's really big. What's going to go along this wall over here to your left is sewing machines. I'll be able to have them all together in a row. Over here is the giant storage room. Isn't that fantastic? So it's all in one place. I am so excited about this room. And then actually for the first time since we've moved here 10 years ago, I'm actually going to have a desk I can write on. So our desks, we're going to have two. My daughter's going to have one. We'll be here and here. Over in this corner, we're going to have some nice, what we call, sets in which we could do certain type of filming over here, maybe having large quilts on the wall, because I never had a place to hang them and film them correctly. And then uh, from this window, you can actually see the mountains a little bit. That's all the guys out there working right now. You remember in my old sewing room, this. So we recreated this thing in the closet, these shelves, and my really nice sewing table is gonna go right here. That fancy craft table will go over in that other corner that we just left. So this is so cool. I am so excited. My daughter's excited. My cameraman, Jamie, is thrilled. And my husband's really excited too. And he said, now one thing better move into his office. So I've gotta be really careful. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Give me your thoughts on what you think I should do in here. Give me suggestions on what kind of sewing room, how big a space you have. And maybe by the time I get this all organized, I'll have the experience to help you organize yours. See you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to click on the bell. I'm Cheryl and this is a lot of manis. See you next time and happy sewing.